everyone, Lisa here. And today's video, I thought I would share with you my laundry routine, I guess. How I get my clothes and, and sheets and things like that so white. So yeah, that's what I thought I'd share with you today. Just like what I use as far as soaking my things and, and ha like how I prepare them to be washed to try and get as many stains and dirt out of them as possible. So what I first do with things like anything white, like underwear, socks, bras, t-shirts, anything like that, I will often fill my laundry sink up with some hot water and in that I will put some washing powder, some uh, like stain remover type soaker and a little bit of bleach. And I'll show you the products that I use. I don't actually have the, the boxes and the containers that they come in but I'll insert a picture of each one that I use and to be honest I just use the cheapest like whatever's the cheapest or whatever's on special that's pretty much what I use I don't really feel that the more expensive ones do a better job like to me they all come out the same so what I first do is I fill my sink up with hot water and yeah so once I fill this up put all my washing powders and bleach and everything in I will then throughout the week I get the kids and you know everyone that any white things like socks and white underwear and bras and things like that I'll just get them to place in this tub and they usually sit in this tub and soak for anywhere from three to five days usually usually three like after that I've normally got enough to to do a wash load so after, so after three days um, yeah I sort of drain them all off then put them in the the wash and when I wash them in the washing machine I wash them on the, the hottest setting possible which so on my machine for my whites I actually put it on this cotton antibacterial and it's supposed to get to 95 degrees so that's the wash that I wash all my whites on and I will also select the pre-wash so in the pre-wash I put more of that nappy soaker and then in the normal detergent dispenser, I just put the regular like laundry detergent and then yeah, have it a pre-wash. Now on my washing machine, that's about a two and a half hour cycle. So it's quite a quite a um, intense cycle. So it, it does tend to get everything reasonably clean. I'm pretty happy with it. So while this is filling up, I will add one big scoop. This is just regular laundry powder and I'll insert a picture here of the brand that I'm currently using and that will go in there and then in this this one here is my actual laundry soaker so I put one one really big scoop of that sometimes two depending on how much clothes I've got I haven't got a lot to soak at the moment so I put one big one in that. So that's the actual laundry soaker. And then this bottle here is what I put my bleach in. <laughs> just so it looks a little bit fancier in the laundry, because why not? And then I just, I don't really measure. I just pour a bit of bleach, whatever, maybe a cup of bleach. So then while that's all mixing together, then I will add, sort of let that, all the powder and everything dissolve probably needs a little bit more water and then I just add all my clothes to that like all the small clothes mainly like just obviously just whites like sometimes pillowcases tea towels socks underwear bras small t-shirts so you know things like these tea towels they're pretty badly stained bras tea towels again these are my cleaning cleaning cloths these are not white socks but it, I mean I don't care if they get bleached they're only just my work socks that no one sees see that's pretty pretty badly stained so hopefully I can show you an after shot and they all look pristinely white again and I just leave them soaking in this for yeah a few days um, until basically until I've got enough of a, a wash load to, to do a load of washing with them but I usually like to keep them soaking for a minimum of two days at least once all the water actually turns black from 
from all the dirt that's coming off them then I know it's probably time to get them out okay so I'll let them soak for a couple of days and then I'll like stop the video and then restart it again in a couple of days time to show you then the next step of what I do okay so this is after about two days soaking I'm just gonna take the plug out and let that drain and then I'm gonna put this wash in with some white towels as well just to fill the washing up Got the white towels here just put all these in with the towel wash and then again I have it set on the hottest wash I use my normal laundry in the wash dispenser this soaker one I get another scoop of that again this is why I like to use the cheap one because I use quite a bit I put a little bit in there and then a little bit in the pre-wash section and then for my whites instead of putting fabric softener I actually just put a bit of bleach so I like to put just a little bit of bleach in the um, where you would normally put your fabric softener and then so that's already on pre-wash so start and that should start then i'll show you what they look like when they come out okay so the washing's finished now and i'm just about to hang it up to dry remember these socks from before they were pretty pretty filthy and they've come out you know reasonably white and i don't know if it's really coming off on camera if you can see it quite well but yeah, I mean everything, like most of the stains and everything's come out and all the towels are nice and bright white. And you know, you, you don't really have to use the expensive brands to, to do it. You just have to give it, give it time to work, you know, soak it for a couple of days. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything's turned out. These are the socks again. Those were the pretty badly stained red with red dirt, which I mean, we've got that rich red dirt out here and that's really... You know it stains everything really quickly so they've come up all right and these socks are over a year old now so they're not even new socks anymore all oh, the bras are quite clean quite bright so just a couple of other tips i had regarding laundry with white anything white i like to hang up inside out just so that if any marks or anything get on them it's going to be on the inside like just while they're hanging like you know a bit of dust or something gets on them so I, yeah, I turn all my like white pillowcases and well, mainly the white pillowcases and any white t-shirts or tops, I'll just turn them inside out to hang them out to dry. When I hang out my clothes, I actually hang them up on hangers and hang them out to dry. Now I don't actually have an outside washing line as such. Well, not yet anyway, I hope to get one. My husband doesn't like them, but maybe we'll get one because it's just a bit hard with the sheets and everything. So what I do with my clothes though, I put them on hangers and then hang them up on here to dry. That way, creases and everything like that tend to fall out a lot easier. You don't get any of those peg marks on your clothes and they're just you can just take them straight and put them straight in your wardrobe once they're dry. So I just find this is quite a big time saver and it's a lot easier for the kids as well because all their clothes are already on the hanger and ready to go. They just basically have to take take the clothes straight in their wardrobe. I try to do one load every day to keep on top of it and by the time the next day comes around, the load that's on here will be dry and I can just keep swap switching it out. I just thought that's, that's actually a really big time saver for me is actually hanging the clothes up on the hanger to dry. But here I've just got our old ironing board and what I do, once the clothes have dried, I will just fold them up and put them in piles. So like that's my husband's pile, my pile, my daughter's pile, my son's pile, and then that's like um, sheets and towels. And then down below, all the dried clothes that are on the hangers already, slot underneath the piles of the clothes. So then once a week, it's usually on a Saturday, I'll get everyone to come take their pile and put their clothes away. And it just makes it easier, saves me having to do every single person's clothes. And yeah, all the kids' clothes, they're already folded. So they're just a couple of other little tips 
that I had as far as time saving for laundry and, and all that sort of stuff. Now, can we just have a little comparison here? This is my husband's pile. This is my pile. This is a week's worth of washing, mind you. This is my daughter's pile. She's 14 and my son is 12. So where, like it's a week. Where are the dirty underwear? Where are the dirty clothes? Where is all the dirty everything? I've checked his room. His, there's nothing left in his room. And I've got one pair of socks for the whole week. Here's the grubby <laughs> kid here. Can you explain? Can you explain why there's one pair of socks out of a whole week's worth of dirty washing that everyone has had? Look at the colour of his clothes. This is what he wears and he it's leaves it on all black. week. So, yeah, after a week, this is all my son has. Three t-shirts and a pair of socks. And where are the dirty underwear? That's what I want to know. Where are all the dirty underwear? What <laughs> underwear? Do you wear underwear? <laughs> oh, my God. 12-year-old boys, like, honestly, they are the stinkiest. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as one of my subscribers. So I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.